Rich Ha, a piping stress engineer was analyzing several connected piping systems of a project comprising many lines. Physically the project's requirement was to anchor the pipe at columns or at beams, by welding at some of the locations, which she had to select as her boundary condition. Rich Ha simulated the same by modeling each system with anchors as boundary condition. To simulate the model more precisely she took realistic stiffness for anchor and support. Client later wanted all the systems to be merged and get the realistic simulation of actual overall system. She did the same and merged all the files. In the result, she saw that values were varying at nodes when comparing with the counterpart in earlier files. Why did this occur? Are you thinking why the values for the nodes not matching? Come let's turn the pages to answer the same. Rich Ha used computed stiffness values, corresponding to the structural steel to which pipe was supposed to be welded, to simulate the realistic condition. As computed stiffness values are not infinitely rigid, they do not prevent loads and displacements from being transmitted across the anchor point. That is why she was seeing a difference between her continuous and partial models. Only when system is run with rigid anchors for the static analysis, the nodal values will match. Further, let's look into effect. Can the WRC 107 module be used to check local stresses due to trunnion or round attachments on a pipe surface? Well in order to know more about this question, kindly click on the link below or continue watching this channel. Channel which tries to explain some of the basics of oil and gas piping and moreover of the piping stress analysis. Please do subscribe in order to get more facts, cases, and quizzes.